हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट Perinephric abscess. Perinephric abscess is mainly occurs due to the extension of cortical abscess or hematogenous abscess. Whenever uh, there is a cortical abscess, the abscess is present in the cortex. This can uh, form a abscess around the kidney, which is perinephric abscess, or it can reach through through the blood vessels, and from there it can reach around the kidney, resulting in perinephric abscess. The organ mechanism which is responsible for perinephric abscess is escherichia coli or proteus species are responsible for perinephric abscess then in a perinephric abscess a patient with perinephric abscess presents with the following features the patient presents with high grade swinging fever is seen in the patients with abdominal tenderness and flank mass is seen in the patient because there is uh, pus see our abscess is seen around the kidney because of the abscess there is fever there is tenderness is seen because it is as abscess and a flank mass is seen now on diagnosis you will have to do the urine cultures in the urine cultures these are positive only if the communicating with the collecting system is seen why because actually in perinephric abscess the abscess is present around the kidney and here you will have ureter if there is no communication between the ureter and the abscess then the pus will come negative right so in most of the cases it is usually negative only it is positive the urine cultures will come positive if there is a connection between the ureter and the abscess that is collecting system and the abscess then the culture becomes positive or else in most of the cases the culture is negative then the causative organism can be identified in one third of the cases whereas blood culture can be done in half of the cases and then we can accurately this can be detected mainly by the ultrasonography and the ct scan helps in accurate detection of the organism then management management once you have treated once you have diagnosed that there is perinephric abscess by an ultrasonography or ct scan now you should do give the patient antibiotic therapy now after anti giving antibiotic therapy you will wait for 48 hours if the patient does not respond within 48 hours then you do an uh, ultrasound guided ct scan sorry you will do a percutaneous drainage is done that means if this is the kidney and this is the skin you will introduce a um, needle and then you will drain the abscess so percutaneously you will drain drainage of the abscess is done either by a ct scan or by the ultrasound guidance if the patient does not respond to antibiotic therapy within 48 hours then you do this then second now if abscess does not resolve in even after this if the abscess does not resolve even after doing this percutaneous drainage if the abscess does not resolve then we should do an open surgical drainage should be done to the patient and then if after doing open surgical drainage you will do a follow up imaging is done to confirm the resolution of the abscess okay so first you give antibiotics if it does not respond then you do a percutaneous drainage if the patient does not respond to percutaneous drainage also then you do open surgical drainage and nephrectomy is done followed by confirmation of resolution of abscess then sometimes a subcapsular nephrectomy may be needed for the remove that is may be needed for pyonephrosis if there is dense perinephric adhesions are seen if around the kidney if there are dense adhesions then we should do a per subcapsular nephrectomy may sometimes be needed thank you and thank you for watching